day and welcome back to my channel. Now look, something exciting happened today. This, um, this bloody big box arrived in the mail. Look at it. Bloody thing's enormous, right? And this is from my good mate, Thomas, over there in the Americas. Now, good old Thomas, he, um, he's a bit cold where he is. He's freaking his nuts off. Yeah, he's up there in uh, New York State or something. He lives up there. Where is it? Where is it? Tell me on the bloody box. Where are you from, you bastard? Um, Amsterdam. I thought that was in uh, Europe, you know? Anyhow, apparently not. No windmills and clogs. He's in New York, but it's called Amsterdam. I've got to figure that out. Anyhow, Thomas, he, um, he's got to move down south. He's got to go down to Florida. That's where his family is, you know? Where it's warmer, and he can wrestle a few crocodiles. <laughs> Anyhow, the upshot of it was, Thomas said, I've got this bloody big stash here I've been putting together, and I'm not taking it, you know? So, um, Harry, do you want any? And I said, oh, bloody oath, mate, I'll, I'll take whatever's going. Have you got any World War I planes? Have you got any floaty boaty things? Have you got anything I like? And I remember he had like squillions of stuff. And I just went, yeah, that, 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 that. Oh, that's all good. Yeah, mate, just, um, that'll be fine. Chuck you a couple of shekels. And he sent me a box. Now, it's only been a couple of weeks. Now, um, wetter in New Zealand who sell wind at wings. Take friggin' notice, you dickheads. Yeah. Two weeks from Amsterdam, well, America, right? Not a month from New Zealand, which I could throw a rock over the bloody pond and it would arrive, you know, the rock had arrived there not very long, like an hour, but my hand was big enough. Anyhow, I'm just saying, New Zealand is just across the pond. It's not far away. And it takes a month to get something out of there. If you want a bloody wing nut wings kit, you know, you save your shekels up, cost your friggin' fortune, you order the bloody thing and, you know, you need a freaking haircut by the time it turns up. <laughs> Anyhow, um, whatever postal service he's using, great. It's really good, mate. And um, apparently there's another box coming. But anyhow, I've got this big box, right? I've got this bloody big box. So what I thought we'd do is, I'll open it, because I haven't opened it yet. I'll open it. Let's see what he sent me, because it's going to be as much a surprise for me as it will be for you. So let's see what my good mate Thomas sent me all the way from America. <laughs> Here we are, at my workbench. Well, one of them. This is the one in front of the TV. I'm a two workbench guy, you know. Now for, shut up, crow. I'm trying to do a video. Bloody wildlife. Uh, anyhow, let's find that box. Oh! It is a big sucker. Look at that. It is bigger than my great big um, workbench um, cutting mat, which is the big size one. It's not the little one, the big one. Look at this. This is how he dressed it. <laughs> it's amazing it got down to me, isn't it? Ah, oh, bloody posties. They know how to send everything. <laughs> No, 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 it's the arse end of the box, of course. Can't have it up the other way. It'd give you away my address and all your bastards be coming around here and saying, Oh, you free kids! Yes, now, let's, um... I don't know how we attack this. Let's, let's just slice it down the middle. See what happens. I don't know. Um, yeah, that seems to be doing something. Very nicely uh, packed, Thomas. Very lovely, yes. Attention to detail, I mean... You do... Uh, Thomas does some bloody nice dioramas, if you find you know, his stuff is, is very creative. And unlike me, I'm sort of building things with, you know, the brain of a mathematician. Because that's how I am. I'm, I'm a mathematician. I've got a degree in mathematics. That's kind of how I think. Uh, you know, I might be creative, I suppose. But it's all born out of systems and methods and stuff like that. So I use a lot of structure in what I do. I'm not really an organic builder. Um, I try to do stuff now where I just kind of go the flow. But I, I'd be kidding myself if I believed it was totally organic, it isn't. Subconsciously, I'm using systems and plans and patterns, things I know, and I just, um, that's how I go, you know. And that's my method. My um, psychoanalysis says I'm a um, mathematical poet. Yeah, so that's, that's how it is. But Thomas, let's talk about Thomas for a sec. Thomas, mate, he's, he's completely organic. I'm just amazed what he does. He just kind of gets a whole lot of stuff. He's like MacGyver. Gets a whole lot of stuff and then starts fiddling and putting together. Next thing you know, he's got a bloody, you know, water effect and, a, and, and this happening and, and trees and stuff and, and aeroplanes flying through the sky shooting each other. Oh, you know, I'm amazed with what he does, really, because it's, it's not what I can do. It's beyond my, um, beyond my method. I think we're nearly there. We could, uh, we can probably extract the box from the thing. Oh! Oh! It's coming out, and maybe we can... Oh, it's got a whole lot of writing on that side too. Yeah, don't look at that. I don't know what he's written there. Um, from Betty's Blow Up Doll or something, from um, Luscious luscious Inflatables. Oh, goodness me, Thomas. Goodness gracious, exposed on international bloody video. We'll get through this quickly so you can't get the address for um, 
Betty's blow up dolls. Bloody hell. Jesus, mate. No wonder you need to get down south. Uh, all right, well, here we go. Right. Now, I know Thomas said he was going to be ingenious, and he's done this before for me. He's a clever bugger. And rather than putting all the kit boxes in, and then, you know, kit boxes are 90% air. You know, with this giant box, it costs a friggin' fortune. He, um, he rips the sprues out and kind of flat packs it all. So what we've got here, this is, uh, this is where it becomes exciting. Department of Fire. Oh, this must be um, a fire boat. Yes. This is a fire boat. That's what it is. Here, this little uh, fire boaty thing. Lindbergh. Oh, well, who knows? Lindbergh. So something in here is a fire boat. What do you reckon? Does that look like a fire boat? Probably. Probably. Oh, yeah. That looks like a boat. There's, there's bits of boat in here. Look at this. Bits of boat. So there's a fire boat in here, which I thought would be very interesting. So it's got all the hoses and everything and, and all of that. Um, this looks like a World War I aeroplane. Oh, yes. We've struck pay dirt here. So that's... Um, here we go. It's a, it's a Kawanashini. Huh? I don't know. Is that like... A, that's a mini Kawasaki. Oh, I don't know. A Kawanashini. Cow, yeah, anyhow, it's a float plane, and I love float planes, that's right, yes. I remember seeing this. Hasegawa. Hasegawa kit, can't be wrong. Can't go wrong with Hasegawa. Now, there's dragon in here, too. I'm, I'm smelling dragon. Look at that. This is sort of like Christmas sock, isn't it? You don't know what's in here. There's, there's something dragonish in here. It's got bloody tracks, so that looks exciting. Let's put that to the side here. Yeah, there's, um, there's wheels. So we've got, we've definitely got a dragon kit in here somewhere. So this all looks very dragonish. Um... So put that over the side here. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, oh look at that! It's an RSO. <laughs> it's an RSO. Now I, I had a it was scary one of this, but it was shit. The, the track links were absolute crap, and I, did, I just didn't like it. And um, eventually there was a young fella at the model club, just a young guy, and I know he's only got his bloody pocket money and everything. So every now and then I take something down that I'm not really that keen on. Um, but he looks at it and his eyes light up, you know. And I say to him, oh, yeah, you like my kit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want to buy it off me? Oh, I haven't got any money. Oh, well, go away. Talk to your dad. Get your pocket money. Come back and make me an offer. And, I mean, it doesn't matter. If he comes back with two bucks, I'll let him have it. I just make sure that he, you know, that I don't give it away so much that he has to earn it and he feels like he's purchased it off me. And, and for a little tyke like that, you know, even... Even if, even if he sort of finds $10, it's a bloody fortune for him. And um, I don't mind, it's only a token thing. I get 10 bucks. might be a $50 kit, who gives a shit? doesn't matter. Again, spread the love, share it around, you know, get kids into modelling. So um, he got my et all scary one. He won't care about the details and the rest of it. He's just a kid, he's just going to put it together, have a bloody ball. There'll be glue all over the freaking thing and half of it won't fit. And he'll think it's wonderful and, and that's fine. And that's what we did when we first started modelling. But I digress. RSO, yes, an RSO. Bloody hell, that's great, mate, because these, these things could be set up to, um, to tow and do all kinds of things. But that is mighty, and it's dragon, and it's got magic tracks, and it's got PE, and I am going to build that. That'll go on my list for this year, actually. Yes, yeah, so I'll build your asshole. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, I think, seeing as this uh, cow, 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 cow and a sheeny, I can't bloody say it. And we'll just call it a float plane, shall we? Yeah. Um, there, look. There's the plastic. Yes. That's very nice. Yeah, lovely detail. Well, it, it's um, it's Hasegawa. Look, it even comes with a tiny little bottle of glue. <laughs> Remember those days of Airfix? You got your little bottle of glue and they gave you a couple of little things of paint and everything and you try and use it and get it all over your bloody self. Well, I did. That looks really nice, mate. That's lovely. You know I love float planes. So that is a beauty. I'm going to enjoy building that. That is bloody brilliant. So we'll put that to the side. Yes, we'll put that to the side. Now, uh, oh yeah, what we got here? This is big. This is huge. What the bloody hell is this? Oh, hang on. I think that's some more... I don't know. We've got a thing and a thing and a thing. I have to figure this out. I think that's dragon. That's kind of got a dragon smell about it. Yeah, I'll put that over here in the dragon pile. I have no idea what that is. looks like it's bloody robot visor. You know, oh, this is definitely, there's the gun shields off your arse, oh, yep, we need that. Um, this is probably part of that um, fire boat, I'm guessing. Don't know, I'll put it over here for the moment. No idea. It's a part. Right, um, oh look, and, and, and there's, a, there's a rod here too. It's, um, you know, that's what the, the constipated mathematician needed. You know about that? Yeah, the constipated mathematician. He, um, he worked it out with a pencil. 
Yes, none of that, none of that, none of that. <laughs> right, this, this looks in. Oh, what have I got here? Airfix. It's an airfix. Airfix. It's an. It's a, it's it's a lifeboat. Oh yes, this is the airfix lifeboat. Bloody lovely. One seventy seconds. Oh, it's big. I mean, that's there. It is. There's a, there's a picture. Give you an idea. Look at that. Look at that. It's it's a Severin. Severin class lifeboat. Yes, I wanted one of those. I've seen quite a few of them built online, and um, it's something different. And I like my boats. I like tugs and things like that. And um, always wanted a radio control tug. Now it's not just battleships and things. It doesn't have to be big, powerful things. Sometimes I just like little quirky stuff. And this looks mighty, mate. Gee, I'm impressed with that. There's a huge. Oh, look, color photos. Look at that. Good on you, Airfix. Oh, hang on, getting around. I like color photos. And um, because it's 172nd, all the rails and everything it should be in there. Yes, they will be, and, and all the little bits and pieces. So, yes, what I'll do is I'll have to go through all the sprue maps and check what all these loose sprues are so um, I don't mix the fire boat up with this Airfix tug um, lifeboat. Yeah, that is terrific. I actually, I'm so surprised. I didn't know what quite how that would be. I didn't realize how big it was actually, because I've just seen a few online, but you never get the idea of scale. And there's um, there's a whole lot of decals there. Or as some as you wombats say, decals. They can't be decals, mate. That'd mean on your face you've got free cows. No, you haven't. You got freckles? These are decals. <laughs> yes. So look, that. that's the size of the box, okay? And that box has got to be at least, well, it's over a foot. I'll go get a measuring thing and tell you. Hang on. What have we got here? What have we got? got a measuring thing. How big is that? You want it in inches? Yeah. Well, like everyone. Yes, dear, that's six inches. <laughs> Whoa, dirty jokes. Um, well, there's 10 inches to there. That's 16 inches. 16 inches long. So that's, um, gee, that is quite big. 20. Oh, that's that's over 40 centimetres. That's a big sprue. That would have had a big box. So, Thomas, mate, you have saved heaps by putting um, these buggers, you know, ripping them out of their boxes and just flat packing it like this. That is terrific. Mighty, mate, you've done a wonderful job. Look at this, this thing. Oh. I'm going gaga over this one. This is a lot of detail. Anyway, I could rab it on and rab it on and rab it on and just going, oh, God, how are you doing? You just sprue. It's plastic. Yeah, but um, really happy. So I've got um, the lifeboat. That is mighty. Love that. Love that, mate. That is going to build up. That's, that's going to get built soon. Soon. Along with everything else getting built soon. There's me, um, me Kawashini. What a float plane. You know? I love a little, I'm really doing this whole biplane thing, going berserk with them. You know, I've ordered a few on eBay and, and you pick them up for a song, little 170 second scale biplanes, and you pick them up for a shekel. <laughs> it's amazing. And, and I have a barrel of fun. It's like the uh, the Fury. I got that for half a shekel, you know, five bucks. And I have as much fun with that in some ways um, than I would with a $200 wing nut wings kit. Not that I've ever paid that much. But you know what I mean. Um, sometimes it's not how much you spend on the kit. If you can find a good little cheap kit that's that's quite a little gem, you can have a lot of fun building it. And then you can still spend all that time weathering it and washing it and doing things, especially with these planes, you rig them. You have a ball and it doesn't cost an arm and leg. So that is, that's the, the secret I'm finding, that you don't need all this expensive stuff. So there you go, that's, that's the box. It's empty. I don't think there's anything more. No, that, that's it. Birth of the blow-up doll. She, um... She came very useful in the end. So, um, Kawasaki, um, an Arso, um, a hair fix, and, 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 and the, the Lindbergh, which I haven't had a good look at yet, but, um, oh, Lindbergh's what it is, but that's a, um, it's a boat. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a boaty pomp. <laughs> Fiber, that's right. It's a fireboat, this one. So I don't know what it looks like when it's all done up. Here, those are the little ladders and everything on it. Is there a final pick? I don't know. It's a bit bloody vague, isn't it? That sort of a couple of Lindbergh kits I've sort of had my hands across. It is all a bit strange, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. It's it's a fireboat, so um, maybe there's more. But that that'll be good too, and they're all nice. I mean, that's a good size as well. So, you know, I'll have a lot of fun with that. I could do anything. I could turn that into a little pirate ship. Wouldn't that be fun? You know, because I don't think the de the detail of this is not going to be anything near the airfix. That airfix, I'll build it as it's supposed to be built. But this Limburg, I might go to town, have fun with this, turn it into a little pirate boat, you know. Um, yes, because I've got plans with some other little kits there. I'm doing a bit of a Porco Rosso thing. But more of that another time. Well, how about all that then, hey? Bloody hell, what a lot of stuff. What a lot of great stuff. I'm really impressed. Thanks, Thomas. That is brilliant. 
Now, I probably won't um, keep all the kits for myself. Um, there's just, just too much there, really, and I know there's more coming. So um, I'll probably share it around with my mates. So uh, any guys watching and uh, any of you bastards want some of that stuff, we'll get in touch. Sure, I, you know, I'm sure I can part with something, you know, the box maybe. <laughs> no, 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 we'll, um, we'll share the love, right? We're modelers. We, uh, we look after each other. We know the disease. <laughs> And Thomas, I hope that you're going to be a lot, uh, a lot warmer down south in Florida, wrestling those um, crocodiles. No, 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 they're not crocodiles, are they? They're bloody alligators. Wally gators down there, aren't they? Yeah, sorry about that. There's crocodiles in Australia. Australia, mate. Anyhow, um, thanks again, Thomas. I really appreciate that great big box. And um, I know that it's pretty sad having to sell all your stash. I know what that's like. I've done it myself. Uh, but it comes back, believe me. It, um, it all comes back to you. And, you know, what goes around comes around. You'll be right. It'll all be good. All right, well, that's about it for this one. Uh, there will be a, a review of a new kit I'm going to build for Group Build coming up next, and plus there will be the Wing Up Wings kit. I'll show you up to that, and, and all that stuff that I built in um, January and the beginning of February. Well, I've got videos coming for that. There will be videos coming out of my armpits. <laughs> There's a lot to come this year. It's going to be action-packed. So hang in there for the ride. All right, that's it. That's enough bullshit for today. Oh, well, it's goodbye from Australia, and it's hooray from Harry Dini.